Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is April 27th of 2017. It's about 9.30 a.m. in the morning. Uh, I haven't taken my morning medication yet. Uh, what's going on? I have one, my one monitor, my wide monitor, LG. I have a new monitor that will be here. Today's Thursday. Tomorrow I will have my new monitor. This is, and it's an Asus 27 inch. Uh, this is the third one of these that I've bought in the last, I don't know, two or three months or six months or whatever. I bought one and uh, got it, and the same day I gave it to my grandson who was living here at this, at that time. And then later I ordered another one of them and gave it to my son who was living next door at that time but is now living here. And then I ordered another one, so this one I'm going to keep for myself, nobody else to give it to. Uh, it has a really great, really great display. Uh, like I said, 27 inch IPS. Now the audio, <coughs> it's good audio, but it's just not quite loud enough. So maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll amp it up a little bit or just continue using the uh, speaker that I'm using. Uh, my plan is, and I've changed, in the last few days I've had, in the last, since my last video, I forget if I had the uh, Chrome box working uh, next to this or if I had the, uh, I think I had the computer, old computer, with only four gigabytes of memory working with Linux. But I, you know, I've just been changing, moving things around, trying different things. Right now there's no second computer operating. And the plan is I'm going to be using the one computer with Windows 10. I've got this wide monitor that lets me, you can see that, you know what I can do here, I can, where my picture is right now, I, I, when I'm not doing this, I can uh, have something open. I can copy and paste over if I can find information when I'm blogging or whatever. And uh, But <clears throat> when I get this monitor tomorrow, I'm going to put it over here. The way it'll help me uh, so far as making these videos for YouTube or wherever I make them is that I can have the controls over on this other monitor and just be capturing this screen. So if I want to go over and uh, adjust, see, I would have to, it's, that's, this is why, you know, I would have to go, let's see, where in the hell are the controls? Okay, here's the controls. See, I wouldn't have to do that <clears throat> if I had, if I wanted to uh, say, uh, zoom in. Let me move this over here. That'll work out better. Now pull the uh, video back up. See, this would be on the other monitor, the one I'm going to get. And I, I have done this. And I, I, I liked it. So then I could, whoops. Oh, I see, because I have this open. It won't let me. Okay, but I've, I've used it. Why won't it let me, anyway. So I can do stuff like that. So I'll, I'll be using the other monitor uh, for things like that. Uh, nice monitor. I'm not sure I, I don't think I've actually, uh, I'll put a link to it because my grandson, when he saw the monitor, before I got this monitor, that was the first time I ordered the monitor that's coming. My grandson is really into computers, of course, and knows a lot about, uh, he knows all the crap about, which I don't know, you know, on monitors and video cards and just knows all that stuff, like a lot of, probably like an awful lot of you people that are watching. 
and I tried to get him to, uh, you know, hey, I wanna, you know, he wasn't interested and in, just wanted to get to his video game, and so uh, he didn't help me pick out the monitor or anything. And then when the monitor came, came, I said, well, come, you know, come and see it. So he came in, and he he liked it. And then my son, who uh, he he likes the uh, the monitor, so, but I didn't do. I didn't do a review on it, uh, but I'll put a link to it below. And if you purchase it, I will get uh, commi a small commission from Amazon. But uh, yeah, see, I okay. I understand now what 4K about 4K six hundred dollars. I don't. I, this uh, WQHD that you can get, you know, I don't know. I think that has to do, if you, especially if you want to use it for, I believe, I'm probably wrong. Uh, well, since since I don't know, let me not even talk about it. But anyway, looking forward to getting this, and this time I'm going to hang on to it. And I'm wondering about maybe later purchasing another and having side-by-side -side monitors. I don't know. What do you think? Got this hat coming, too. Uh, need a hat to cover up my head, and then I need a mask. I need to come up with some reason I have a mask on to cover my face. Or I need to... Oh, yeah. Need to move the camera further back. We don't want any close-ups. Which reminds me... Yeah. This new uh, product, the Echo Look. Okay, well, they don't have this. They did show it, but if they started to vid fucking... I'm sorry. Yeah, it's uh, like an Echo... But it's the Echo Look. So it does everything that the Echo... The Echo Look gives you a personal style assistant with a hands-free camera, plus all my current features. Visit Amazon.com slash Echo Look for more information. Ah. So this might be interesting. Because uh, it's a camera. I could place it, you know, around here. And uh, might be interesting. I think it's one hundred ninety-nine dollars. I believe. I'll put a link. To, yeah, it is. I'll put a link to it below. Sometime I need to get the word out to all of you. With uh, now you can go. I need to put it someplace where you. I need to put it under every video. A link to. Amazon, because if you go there and you buy anything, so if I put a link to this below this video and you go there and you're still logged in and you decide, I, I don't want that, but you go over and buy a big screen TV or something, I still get it. I get a commission. But if you log out, you know, if you use that link to get in there and then, uh, log out of Amazon and then you come back then I don't get the commission but there is a way to take care of that and I need to look into that because the the money for everybody I think has been going down on uh, YouTube that's produce you know people who are producing who are making these videos on YouTube their income has has gone way down. Did my mine went down? I think now to like I think it's eleven dollars from I think it was up to as high as thirty, and usually it was like twenty. It's down to eleven. So who? I mean, who cares about that? You know. But I'm making more each month from Amazon commissions than I uh, do from plus. You know, plus two. I've been uh, myself. Uh, deactivating videos that I make. This one I probably won't because uh, 
I've been, uh, just so I can be, say what I want to say and not have to, you know. I don't want to say censored because Amazon has that perfect right to uh, control what goes on, you know, and it's not a matter, you know, if the federal government did it or the state of Texas or somebody, you know, some governmental agent, that's censorship. But if the business said, you know, that they want their all of their videos to be uh, sanitized and ready for commercials, well, that's fine. They can do that. But it's going to drastically change the way the type of product that's going to be, you know, be given because the thing I like is getting, going someplace and getting somebody's opinion, even if I don't agree with it, as long as it's not, as long as it's not Alex Jones. Uh, but, uh, I mean, somebody who's just, uh, so, but, I don't know. Um, I'm on Twitter, of course, everybody's on Twitter, and I don't care if you go to Twitter or not. And I don't really use Twitter, but every time I post to something on my blog or on YouTube, an announcement goes and the link to it and all goes automatically. I don't do anything, it just goes automatically to there. I don't go and sit at Twitter. I don't go to Twitter and see what's what's going on. I'm not on, you know, I have, I'm there at Twitter, but if you want to uh, follow me or something on Twitter, that's fine. Go ahead and go ahead and do it. I'm on Facebook and I do, I don't go to Facebook and sometimes I'll comment on something to somebody, a friend or uh, something. I, I'll, I'm following people that that's a way to keep in touch with family and people that you worked with or went to school with or something like that. <clears throat> but I don't consider myself to be there again. Anytime I post a video, wherever I post it, an announcement goes to Facebook. Um, if I post a blog, it goes to Facebook. But I don't go to Facebook and post them. Well, maybe I have a few times, but I'm not a Facebook person, but I do go there and I do, like I said, because I can follow people that I went to school with or family members. Um, I need to come in here and edit this thing and take out this phony signature. My, that, I've never, I don't even know if I can do script. I print everything and I always have. I need to come and edit this thing sometime. Two, the reason I mentioned about Facebook is because people, there's, I think people try to contact me on Facebook or, or whatever. I mean, I don't come to Facebook and check on friends, friends request. I don't check on messages. Uh, I don't check on notifications. I mean, I've gone to Facebook where I maybe I haven't been to Facebook and two weeks or whatever and I go there and and then I'll find some somebody has left a message or comment or something to me you know like from a month ago or I don't you know I don't like Facebook and I know everybody loves Facebook I don't like it because I don't feel like I have control I don't know if you are somebody who follows me on Facebook I don't know what you see on your uh, your site. If I post something, I don't know if you're seeing it. I don't, if you don't follow me, I don't know if it's popping up, you know, it's just, I have, feel like I have absolutely no control over it. And I don't know what anybody is seeing. So I'm not a Facebook fan. It's sort of like in 1982, I started a computer bulletin board service and had Tons of people coming, very popular. I influenced a lot of people. Uh, 
did a lot of inventive things. Did a lot of the did a lot of things that were I think first or whatever. And then the internet came along, or no, the internet was already going. But then uh, the World Wide Web came along in 1995, and then that was basically the end of computer bulletin board systems and a, a culture and a. If you want to find out uh, BBS. Uh, the documentary. You can actually watch it for free uh, here on YouTube. The uh, You could buy it on a set of DVDs, but the author, uh, director, uh, said you can share it and put it up in public, uh, you know, and so you can watch it, but it's like five parts or whatever. I'm in it, I'm in the documentary, a little tiny, three or four places. But you're going to know about BBS history and what. But anyway, so it was a culture, and we made friendships uh, with people. Had we had great internet. I brought the the uh, internet email into Kansas City, Missouri. I brought news groups in. There was that was before there were internet service providers in Kansas City. Uh, But, so the World Wide Web came into bulletin board systems. But So blogs, so I was doing a blog in 1982. Uh, but, so I, I'm doing a blog, and in 1995 I moved my BBS to the World Wide Web. I'm doing a blog, uh, popular, I mean, a lot of people several hundred a day, sometimes a couple thousand, you know, people a day. And then Facebook and all these other come Johnny come lately uh, things start up. And I'm I'm ready to shut my you know ready to shut my blog down really. I just haven't got around to doing it. I'll just I won't direct anybody that goes to those URLs to Facebook. I'll probably direct them to my YouTube account or no, I'll probably have a holding page. It'll be like the blog is still going, but it'll be um, a holding page that if you go to it, uh, my Amazon package is arriving today. Um, not my monitor, that'd be tomorrow, but uh, I need to rewind. Can't remember. They're doing the lawns here at the apartment complex. But uh, so anyway, Facebook. Oh, I'm going to have a hold. I'll just have a holding page. So if somebody goes to what was the URL of Howard's Notebook or a bunch of the other domains that I own. And I own a bunch of them. I'm not even sure what's. Well, anyway, Jim Howard. Dot blog. Jim Howard. Uh, dot. Online. I don't know. Whatever I have, you know. They probably if they're if I have redirection set up, they send you probably to YouTube. But you know, I know that really doesn't work because, like the, the. Uh, let me pull up YouTube here. Where are you, YouTube? I uh, just type YouTube. Be lazy. Um, my channel. Okay. You know, if I uh, direct somebody here. Very few people, I think like 1%, I forget what it is. Very few of you come here to the channel. Uh, you usually get notified either by email or uh, on Facebook or something else that I've done a video on. That's the way you find it. Very few people uh, come to this channel page, whatever you call it. 
By the way, I've got 2,158 subscribers. So, I I would like to have more subscribers. Which reminds me, yeah, that's something I, I would have forgotten if I hadn't have gone there. I think next month, starting next month, maybe not next, maybe the month after, Amazon has a... Might go to Amazon. They have a a thing. Let's see if it shows down here someplace. Okay, well let me pick something here. Okay, let me pick this. This is coming today, by the way. Not for me, but for I think it's this one. No, it's not this one. Okay, my Amazon monitor has been shipped. I thought it was already shipped. Uh, okay, this is not the unit, but I'll just pick one of these. Uh, Amazon has a uh, service that I think would really, because I mentioned once that I would like to give away some items in order to get you all to subscribe or watch a video or do something. You know, I like to have a contest, but I didn't want to have to go through and write down who did this and did that. And, and okay, I don't see here where I can do it, but Amazon has, has that. So I can decide on what I want to be given away, say each month. An Amazon product. Oh, come on, tell me, where do they have a. Well, I'll just have to tell you. So, and other people I'm sure are doing it. I can go to, I can see some, some product that I think maybe, you know, that costs too much money and that I think somebody, some of you might like to get, and I can uh, pick that, pay for it on Amazon, and then go to some settings and tell Amazon that I want people to have to be, have to do the following certain things, have to uh, subscribe or have to leave a comment or have to watch a video or do, you know, do some things. And if they do those things, they are in the contest to get the product and then I don't have to pay. Amazon, their software, their system or whatever, will pick out however uh, uh, whatever the criteria that I set. You know, have to watch a video, have to leave a comment or do something. And then they just ship it, you know. They ship it to notify the winner. And I guess notify me, I'm sure. And they just ship it, you know, ship it to the person. So that's easy. So it's just a matter of <clears throat> me uh, deciding, if, you know, about spending the the money, what product or whatever. So I want to be thinking about, but I think I may start that next, well, not next month, because I've already spent all my money. This is April. I've already spent all my money for May. So I'm going to try to start that in in June. And we'll see. I think eventually I'll get it accomplished. Anyway, um, I think that's it. Uh, getting not, or I'm not getting, today Hillary is getting one of these. No, the one she's getting costs about $2,000. And it'll be here today. And I'll probably make a video maybe later and show it to you. Uh, power supply, you know, a power supply and solar cells. She's getting the solar cells. I don't think the solar cells are coming today. But it's interesting because I have, like, uh, I've had some in this room. Last night I had it. I moved, moved the monitor, plugged the monitor in, and the lights lost power to the room for about 10 minutes. And, uh, then the power just came back. I haven't been able to find that. That's happened a few times. 
and I've got a few ideas, but I haven't reported it to the office here, you know, for the apartment because it comes back. And I know if the maintenance guys come here, they're going to, it works. I think though, if I, when they were here, if I plugged a few things in, if I plugged a vacuum cleaner in, uh, a few things like that, I could probably make the power go up. But then I think they would start messing with things around here, looking at plugs and what in the circuit box or whatever. And then I think the power would come back on, even though they hadn't done anything. And they would say, oh, okay, well, we fixed it and leave. So uh, eventually I may have. But I got, an, I got some ideas and I may. Uh, I think it may be the power. Uh, my my son says he thinks I'm using too much power. I'm not. All the lights here are LED light light bulbs. Every one of them. So all the lights that are running here, as far as light bulbs are concerned, uh, wouldn't add up to one, you know, regular 60 watt or 100 watt light bulb. Uh, the only thing I'm running in here you know, is this computer and the monitor, or two monitors, and that is, that's, and the lights, that's it. But I have, well, I have a power, some power strips, and the one under here is a little freaky, a little strange, and I, th so I'm going to get a UPS power thing, which I should have anyway, the old one I had died after many, many, many years of use going to get that and put that down there when I can afford it. Uh, maybe that would be a good thing. Buy one in May and, you know, review it or whatever and then give one away for May or something. I am on limited income, so if I use my um, use any Amazon links that you see that I use if if I get some extra money especially on Amazon uh, I turn around and do these con do the contest thing I'll use that money just to turn it back around and feed it in anyway thank you very much for watching Oh, now where's the control? Here it is.